Alrighty Hostas, welcome back. And in this tutorial, what I'm gonna do before I start typing a whole bunch of code is I wanna kinda take a step back and explain to you guys real quick exactly how your game is gonna be structured and set up. And it's not only this game, it's any game that you make with Sprite Kit. This is how it's kind of all put together. So whenever you're making a game, it's gonna be broken up into a bunch of different screens. For example, you're gonna have your welcome screen, you might have um, a jungle level, you might have a space level, you might have, I don't know, like the ending credits whenever the user beats the game. Now each of these screens is technically called a scene in Sprite Kit. It's pretty um, easy to follow along if you did any app development before. So of course, each screen or scene is broken up into two parts, your user interface, and in Sprite Kit, these are called the SKS files. They stand for Sprite Kit Scene. So this is pretty much what the user sees. And if you scroll out, and you can zoom out by clicking this button in the bottom right, you see now that the welcome screen that we have is now just plain empty blank gray. So eventually we're gonna add some buttons on here that are like, hey, welcome. Um, maybe another one that says view high scores, whatever. But this is pretty much one scene the interface and the brains behind it. Now, I'm gonna show you guys in just a second how to create another scene, and this is actually just gonna be the first level, and then I'll show you guys how to transition from the welcome screen to the level that we create so the user can start playing the game. So again, real quick, one last time, each level or each screen that we create is gonna consist of a user interface called a SKS file and the brains behind it. So simple enough, let's go ahead and get started. Well, there's one other thing that I want to do before I actually start creating everything, and that is this. If you hop over to the game view controller, 99% of the time, I'm going to say stay out of this file. This is a lot of the background stuff that you really don't need to worry about. However, there is one method in here called support supported interface orientations, and these are pretty much the rules of what orientation the user can hold the device whenever they're playing your game. Now, most of the time, and by default, it's set up as either just portrait or landscape, so it doesn't matter if they turn their phone on or not. But for this game, I only want to allow them to play the game in a landscape mode. So if I delete this and delete that, I'm gonna return, and it actually takes an integer. Believe it or not, this is kind of just bonus information, but you know, might as well learn it. There are different integer values for the different positions the user can hold their phone. So there's one integer value for, you know, just holding it normal, like a portrait. There's another one for a landscape on the left hand side. So that's why it takes an integer. And you don't have to worry about what the integers are, because what we can do is you can type UI interface orientation. And we're looking for a mask right there and what you can call is a landscape a left, which pretty much if the user tilts it 90 degrees, so it's widescreen to the left, and we can just get the raw value of this. So again, the integer value, is it six, is it one, is it zero? It really doesn't matter. We just have to return whatever this value is, and what we're pretty much saying right here is the user can only play this game when they're holding their device like landscape mode, widescreen mode. Once that is taken care of, we can go ahead and start setting up the welcome screen. Now, let's hop over to gamescene.sks. This is the welcome screen, the very first scene that the user sees. And right now, it's just gray, boring. And to be honest, we're not going to be spending a whole bunch of time here because all this welcome screen is going to say is pretty much like, welcome to the game, tap to play. And whenever they tap it, it's going to take them to the actual game. That's where we're going to be doing most of the work. But for right now, again, select this SKS file and zoom out. And first thing, change this is gray because I really hate this boring gray color. And to change it, click somewhere in here and select this little icon. This is the SK node inspector. And it's the one with a circle and then four little circles around it. And the main scene color is just the background color. So if you click the color, then uh, that doesn't really look that good. Maybe this blue. Oh, that looks kind of weird too. All right, let's go with uh. All right, let's go with this orange. Why the heck not? 
and let me close out of there now after that what I want to do is I just want to add a label to the screen so if you select this little icon this is the object library and again like I said most of the time whenever we're making an actual level we're going to be adding all of the objects which are like our characters the enemies the explosions we're going to be adding all of those through code but since this is just a really simple welcome screen we can just do this with the interface builder so I'm just going to take a label right here drag it out stick it in the middle and for the text I'll just say like a Bucky blaster and I'll say tap to play so I'll cap those tap to and hit enter alright so that is the hardest text to read in the world so the first thing I want to do is change change the color to black so again select this node and by the way a node is pretty much any object on your screen it can be a label it can be your main character it can be the bullets the enemies the th blocks that they're shooting at whenever I say node I pretty much mean just an object on your screen anyway select this label and for the color just change it to black now to style the font if you go up to font and you click this little T icon to the right then it can allow you to customize it and it pretty much doesn't matter how you style it I'm just making it a little bit easier to read so the first thing I want to do is change it from ultra light to uh, I don't know, maybe bold looks pretty good Maybe not that bold maybe just um, regular alright that's a little bit better and maybe 48 no 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 let's go with uh let's go with 36 36 was all right all right so this is our welcome screen we pretty much have a label pretty cool now the last thing i actually want to do is i want to change the name of this so again click your label again make sure it's selected and for the name of it i just want to change it to intro label and hit enter now if we save this and run it we can make sure that everything looks good all right and you saw that by default remember whenever we first loaded that plain template project that we can click and it made spaceships it was in portrait mode but now since we set it only to return landscape mode that's why it automatically popped a landscape orientation pretty cool and by the way it doesn't always do that sometimes your simulator is going to mess up and accidentally put it in portrait mode but you can just twist it like uh, i showed you before but right now it looks pretty good this is pretty much the dumbest welcome screen ever but whatever and of course whenever we tap nothing happens because we didn't go in the brains and add any functionality yet so in the next tutorial what i'm going to show you guys how to do is make that brand new level that we're actually going to be playing the game at and i'll show you guys that you can actually add functionality to tap this and it'll add a cool transition and take you to that level it's going to be awesome so well see you then